Welcome everyone, my name is Tom Bagsarian. I'm the managing editor of Handy Woods um, Commercial Construction Magazines. Welcome to Concrete um, Live, CC Live, and World of Concrete. Uh, this morning we're going to talk about a very important issue to the concrete industry, and that's the battle with the wood industry over mid-rise construction. And we're lucky to have with us this morning um, Christy Collins from the American Concrete Pumping Association. Christy, in the last decade, concrete's share of the important mid-rise building market has shrunk from 30 to 20 percent. At the same time, wood's share of the same market has increased from 23 to 40 percent. Um, when did this come to, on our radar and why is that important to us? Well, it came on our radar a couple of years ago, but it really the trend started in 2004. Um, wood being the probably the king of building materials in the residential sector, realized that when the housing boom dropped, that it may never, those levels may never come back to the levels that they enjoyed, say, 2005 and 6. So they kind of took a step back and got a little bit more creative. So while we were kind of hunkered down, holding on with the recession, the wood industry got aggressive. And with a really well-funded well campaign, um, and some innovations in technology, uh, they launched an aggressive PR campaign. And, and one of the reasons why they felt that the housing market may, may never come back is because millennials don't view home ownership the same way baby boomers did. When I was 20 years old and you're just getting out of school or uh, in, in your early 20s, the first thing we all did was save money to buy a house. Millennials don't look at home ownership the same way. That's why you see so many apartment buildings and condos and urban development. Um, millennials tend to, they're, they're not as interested in home ownership. They saw what happened during the recession. Um, so for, for those reasons, they, they decided they had to look to other markets in, in expanding their, um, in expanding the use of wood. Okay. And then what is the impact on, well, a lot of people of the show, contractors, concrete producers, and pumpers who are your members? Why should they care about this? Oh, well, for, for one project, there was an apartment complex being built ne just next to our national headquarters. And just on that, that project alone, it was about a loss of $90,000 in pumping revenue. Oh. So last year, the wood industry uh, indicated that they released that they had converted at least 380 projects from wood to, to or from concrete over to wood and so when you do the math on that it's substantial dollars for the concrete just for the concrete pumping industry so that's a lot of revenue and profits that could be a lost. lot of revenue and profits okay so what's the game plan now how is the industry fighting back and particularly associations like yours well, there's, there's two plans right now. Um, the National Ready Mix Association, in a really aggressive move last fall, uh, voted for a $20 million uh, fund to t take this head on. And they've, they're, the ways that they're going to spend that is, one is they're going to offer what they call a ADAP program, which is a design assistance program, to work with designers in the early stages and show them the, the benefits a building with concrete, and so they'll offer that assistance free. Their DAP program for parking lots has had a 50% success rate, so they're, they know that this is a, a, a proven um, program. They also um, are hiring more people in their legislative departments to work with codes and standards and uh, state, you know, on the state and local levels because that's probably where so many of these codes will, will start. They're doing that. They're also launching a PR campaign. They've hired a structural engineering company. So the National Ready Mix has gotten very, very aggressive, and they are already well underway with their campaign. The Portland Cement Association is taking on, the, is taking on a little bit of a different look. They have hired a strategic development company called Statler Nagel to take a look at all the concrete-related industries and come up with a coordinated plan. Now, something of this magnitude and this size um, is going to take about 12 to 9 months before they collect all the data and come up with a plan. But actually, today, as soon as I leave here, we're going to go in here and update because they, they've got some uh, suggestions for how we can get started before waiting too late. So we're, we're all facing it head on. Okay. So then, in addition to the associations, 
What can people here at this show, individual contractors and pumpers and concrete producers do? Well, the big thing that they can do is they can let the National Ready Mix know of any codes or standards that are being changed in their area. Um, for, for instance, just last week in the state of Washington, there was legislation um, introduced that would give tax incentives for work for building with wood over concrete. Okay. So these are things that we need to be on top of. We need to stay very uh, proactive on. They can ad advise any of our concrete associations of those things happening so we can get the word to National Ready Mix or they can contact National Ready Mix Direct. Uh, they can also, if they hear of any projects in the early design stages that are even being thought of for wood, if they'll let NRMCA know, they'll contact those designers. And, and try and get them to convert back to concrete. Okay, is there an estimate for how many months or more likely years it might take to recapture that market share? It's a slow process, isn't it's it? It's a slow process. We haven't really come up with you know, a timeline. We just hope to, I know that National Ready Mix, they have a goal in the next three years of taking back at least 50% of what was lost. Okay. So that, that's kind of their thermometer for now. Okay, well, it's a very important topic and issue, and maybe we'll revisit it at a future show. Uh, we did cover this topic in the November issue of Concrete Producer, uh, so you could read that article online at www.theconcreteproducer.com. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good show, and welcome to CC Live. Thank you. Thank you.